Today, we're going to look at a tool for DaVinci Resolve, which will allow you to adjust the exposure as you would in camera, but also allowing you to adjust the fill exposure, which is the darkest parts of your footage. Now, a question you may have is why would I want to do this? Or why should I care? Especially when I know that I can just go into maybe the color wheels or the curves and adjust the darkest parts of my footage there. And the quick answer for that is that each type of footage that you work with especially the different type of log footage. So V-log, S-log for Sony, they all have different curves and all different mid gray points. And this matters because what you want to do is set your exposure correct so that you want, let's say a person's face to be exactly at the right exposure. And then when you adjust the fill, you don't want to have that midpoint readjusted. So the pro version of the product that we're talking about today has DCTLs and I'm oversimplifying it here, but Basically, it's a preset within a preset. And what I mean by that is within Resolve, you can apply a node, an effect that's called DCTL. And this is something that's pre-programmed by whoever created it. And then once you do that, any DCTLs that you have will appear in that list, and then you can use them on your footage. This particular one was created by a professional colorist, and it was actually created in consultation with other colorists. So if you're looking for something that's high quality from people that are very knowledgeable, this would be the product. So let's take a look. What you may think to yourself is that you could come over to the color wheels and use the lift and maybe lift up the dark areas of your footage. But if we look over on the waveform on the right hand side, you'll see that we're making everything brighter and it's really lifting our blacks. And that's not necessarily ideal for what we're looking for here. So your second thought may be, well, we can just go to gamma and do the same thing. But we're also getting similar results there. Now we're really lifting the midtones, which we may not want to do, and we're still lifting the blacks. Another thought you may have is that we can just come over into curves and lift it up that way, which is perfectly fine. But now again, we're messing with the midtones, which may not give us the result that we're looking for. And by doing so, it's entirely changing what our footage initially looked like. So we may add another point and try to bring the exposure back down. But what I'm going to show you in this video is that we can apply this DCTL and then we select the pixel tools one. Now we'll discuss this, but right now I am going to change it from DaVinci Intermediate to Gamma 2.4. And then in here, I can adjust the fill exposure. So what we're doing is adding a little more exposure to our darkest areas without affecting everything else. You may also notice that if I adjust the exposure, the blacks stay right at the bottom of our waveform. If we click on the cogwheel in the bottom right hand corner, we can head over to the color management tab. And this is where we can choose the color managed workflow or if we decide to work in a non color managed workflow. Now in a non color managed workflow, we basically have to let DaVinci Resolve know what type of footage we have. And for example, we may need to apply a LUT to some of our log footage so that it appears normal to us. But if we head into the color manage workflow, I'm going to uncheck automatic color management. And then essentially what we're doing is letting DaVinci take care of this for us. This video isn't a color managed workflow video, but I just mentioned this because this determines what you're going to choose in the Pixel Tools DCTL. So in order to install the DCTL, you head over to the color page, you open up the LUT tab. There should be a button right up at the top. Right click on the IRI bin and choose open file location. What this will do is open up a separate window and then you can go up one level and this is your LUT folder. This is where you're going to install the Pixel Tools folder. Now, just to be clear, whatever you download, you're not moving everything over there. If you drill down into the folders, there's a folder called Pixel Tools. So move that to your LUT folder. And if you happen to have DaVinci Resolve open, close it out, reopen it, and then we'll have that as an option. The plugin itself is pretty straightforward. The exposure obviously adjusts the exposure up or down so it gets brighter and darker. The fill exposure adjusts just the darkest parts of the footage. And the fill roll off adjusts how severe the transition is from the darkest parts of the footage to that mid gray point. Now in this case, it's a color managed workflow. And this timeline workflow is in DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate. So we can choose that. You have all these other options here in case you have specific footage that you're working with and it's a non color managed workflow. Right above that tone curve drop down, we have a button called show roll off curve. So what you're looking at here, that vertical line is the gray point of this particular curve. Now, if I adjust the fill exposure, you'll see that it's only affecting that area. The gray point isn't getting touched and none of the brighter parts are getting touched. 
And if I adjust the fill roll off, you can see what I mentioned about how aggressive that curve is going to be. And this all is just a nice way to fill in the darkest parts of your footage without lifting everything and making it appear a little less natural. I'm going to select the show roll off curve again. What you may notice here is if I choose the different tone curves, like in this case it's C log, that the mid point, the mid gray point moves. And we can also take a look at the black magic. So it all depends on which type of footage you're working with that determines the gray point. In order to install the power grades, what you have to do is navigate to a folder that has additional files. And it's actually a DaVinci Resolve project file. If you don't have Resolve already open, you can click on that and it will open it for you. So we're here on the color page and I opened up the gallery. You can use the tabs across the top. These are all your options. You don't necessarily have to install all of them. So whichever ones you need for the cameras you have, you right click, add power grade album. And then what this does is add that additional album, double click on the name, and then you can rename it to something that makes the most sense because this is what is going to be accessible to you in your other projects. So in this case, I'm just going to rename it DaVinci Intermediate Exposure. So what we can do now is head back to the one that we right clicked on to create the new folder from, and that will bring up all the power grades within that bin. So I can hit control A on my Windows keyboard, and that will select all of them. And then what I can do is drag one of them, which will drag all of them into our new folder. So in order to use those, in this case, it's the DaVinci Intermediate that I'm going to choose. These are essentially presets, so you have all these options here. What I'll do is choose one of them, and all I need to do is either double click to add a new node. In this case, I clicked on the reduce one stop. If we look at the DCTL and we look at the exposure, it lists the DaVinci Intermediate as the tone curve and the exposure dropped by one. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in picking this up, I'll link to it in the description below. There is a basic version with just the power grade so that you can adjust the exposure automatically, or there is an additional pro version, which I outlined here, including additional power grades.